I've been I've been defending the NIL of not being a money bag situation, but when Judd came on and basically just laid it all out, saying like, yeah, it's just we just they just circle around a room who can bring the biggest bag. Edric Baxter, uh, four star running back stud. He is committing August tenth, three days from now. Uh, we're, it, it doesn't look too good for us, boys. Okay, it's not looking promising. On three has him at seventy five percent to Texas. 247 has 100%. We're in second. We're in a close second at 7.2%. Uh, but it doesn't look good for, for us. Now, I, I kind of see why. I mean, obviously, we've got uh, Trayon and Trevor. There's already some, there's the room's a little thick. Uh, doesn't mean, I mean, doesn't mean we obviously can't get more. But I don't know, man. I just, the Texas blood right now is, is hot. Everybody wants to be playing for Texas. Um, so. I get it. They just got Peyton Kirkland as well. I mean, things are trending offensively wise very well for them. I'm pretty sure they land. I'm pretty sure they've already landed a four star running back, if not a five star and a wide receiver. So I don't know, man. It just feels like everybody's headed. It's either there or Miami right now. That's what it feels like, to be honest with you. So uh, he's from Edge. He's from Orlando, Florida. It feels like it should be a shoe win, but yeah. it's it's tough, man. Six one two fifteen. Boys big, bro. Boys, boys big for a freshman. That's yeah, a big boy. we talked about that off cast. I mean, coming in straight from high school, six one two fifteen. When they put you in a uh, a high level college conditioning program, uh, a meal program, you know, just the workouts and everything that goes with that. There's no no shot that this kid doesn't add another what 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 ten pounds, eight pounds of muscle. Um, so already coming in at, at, at six one two fifteen is is a, a pretty sizable kid. And to your point, uh, yeah, it looks like Texas already has a five star wide receiver out of Louisiana in Derek Williams, uh, and they've got another four star running back uh, that came out of Texas who's also coming in. Uh, he's a little bit more of a of a lighter guy. Oh yeah, um, Trey Trey Wisner. Okay, so he's not yeah. as much of a, they're not even going to be. He's not even going to be a threat. To, to Cedric at all then. So it was the five-star wide receiver. That's why I got confused. So, I mean, look, yeah. five-star quarterback, five-star wide receiver, um, and they've got a four-star receiver who's close to being a five-star. Uh, it's, man. They, they, Which, this, this, as we've seen, this these class numbers can is, in either direction, yeah. It's, this it, class, these they guys have could number, all be five-stars. <laughs> this Yeah, this class is not, number one ranked nationally in 25, 39, 58, 70. I mean, my goodness. And I want to say Cedric's up there, too. Uh, for the ranking nationally, he is 28th. My goodness, could yeah, you imagine? 28th nationally, number one uh, running back overall coming out of Orlando. And look, th- this is one thing I will say about Gosh. Texas, and I've, I've followed recruiting for a long time. Texas is that they just bring kids in, and they always have. It's just been a recruiting machine out there. The fact that they haven't won more. Crazy, uh, dude. It, Crazy. It's insane. It's another one of those teams that just seems to hemorrhage talent. Not, I think not we only have they not Oregon recruited, recently. but nobody. So, so the difference between Oregon and Texas is Oregon at least sends talent to the NFL. Texas hasn't even sent talent to the NFL in a very long time. They haven't had a running back drafted in, I think, there's a three years is what I looked up, three to four oh, wow. years. Yeah, I could be wrong, but I from what I what I was reading, that's what it seemed like. So. They they don't just send they haven't sent talent to the NFL in a very long time. I feel like I mean with that Thibodeau from Oregon who looks like he I heard I saw a video where he was kind of struggling a little bit at camp. Uh, but uh, yeah, I don't know, man. It's this is where I've been I've been defending the NIL of not being a money bag situation. But when Judd came on and basically just laid it all out, saying like yeah, it's just we just they just circle around a room who can bring the biggest bag. I don't know what to think anymore. It's it's like. It's just frustrating. It's like we're just sitting here waiting for somebody just to sign the check, and then that's when we'll know what's going on. So, I yeah, don't know, to boys. your point, it looks like uh, look Ricky Williams, Cedric Benson. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, rest in peace, Cedric Benson, Priest Holmes. Um, old, but yeah, yeah, these guys are old. Uh, these guys <laughs> are these guys are old. Jamal Charles, I think, is probably the most Jamal uh, Charles, bro. Talk about a fantasy. Just God. God. <laughs> Just, Golly. He got to carry a team, my boy. 